morning, everybody. Welcome to my live. It's Melanie, your faith and financial girl. I'm here in my house in Maine in the middle of a snowstorm. Schools are canceled today. It's literally a winter, one, winter wonderland up there. So I'm setting us up in the front, front room where you can see out side a little bit. Uh, hey, Christine Adams. Hey, look, we got 20 minutes until the trolls can come in. So let's enjoy it. How are you? Grab your coffee, grab your tea, favorite beverage. I don't care. Um, I'm just happy to be here with y'all having coffee to start out our day. This is my favorite way to start the day, guys. Having coffee with my friends and my family and talking about the wealth transfer because I think it's our time. It's our season. And guys, I tell you, we really need it now, right? <laughs> we really need it now. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Paula, for these earrings. I'm wearing Paula's earrings. Paula, you rocked it. She got me the best earrings. So thank you, Paula. I finally have some new earrings. And then there's more coming. Uh, I opened up a package last night, guys. I was I needed some, you know, I worked until 10 p.m. last night. So um, I needed some something to cheer me up, right? And what it was, was the packages. So Thank you so much, Rhonda. I decided to wear yours this morning. And then Marsha Boyd, OMG, you like went above and beyond, girl. I can't wait. I got to figure out how to wear those in my with my outfits. It's going to be fun. So thank you. That was glorious. I got to get my reading glass before I sit down because I'm in a very precarious position here. I got my puppies by my side. I got my coffee here. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Hey, Ivory. Yes. Oh, I'm I'm good. I'm 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 I. I'm going to, I need some recovery time after spending a week, a week, a little bit more. Um, I got the first draft of my taxes done. I was on the phone with um, the TurboTax representative because I always buy the, the best package just in case I have a question with their software and also for audit defense, because sometimes the software is the problem. If you don't buy the audit defense, you don't get their defense, even if the software is the problem because they fill out all my forms for me, right? So there it's up to them to make sure the numbers get in the right places. So they're part of my team. You know, you always need a team in this world. You need a team in this wicked land. You need a team. Well, my team member, she was so good. And I said, look, this isn't looking right. Right. Because remember, I have these carry forward losses. Right. I have carry forward losses. Praise the living God, though. The RV's coming in won't matter. But I was like, why aren't my carry forward losses applying? So. Anyways, turns out last year they limited the carry forward losses to 3000 per year. Do you know what that means? Okay, maybe I'm going to live to 120. <laughs> so I'm like, are you serious? I'm 57 years old, 3000 a year. So what does that mean? Me be screwed. Unless, unless I get a 501c3 and I, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'll pay the taxes. I trust God will bring me more than enough, you know? So, and then, and then guess what? Cheers. The other good news was, but then it was bad news when you have my mind. Anyways, cheers. Let's have some coffee. See, look, my kids have paws. My kids are both right here. You got to see this here. I'll show, well, let me have a sip. Good morning. Hi, Cheryl. I'm glad you made it. I was too RV. Come on. The time is now. I know I'm going to go check the Intel. It's not going to be long till I check the Intel. Trust me. I'm not feeling extremely inspired this morning after that conversation at 10 o'clock last night. Um, hello tribe. Yes. The time is near. It's gotta be guys because listen, my debt, remember I was, my debt was discharged yesterday. <laughs> that credit card. <laughs> but I'm like, so I'm talking to the lady on the phone. I said, wait a minute. I just got a notice. And I was expecting my carry forward losses to cover me on that. So you're saying that's going to be income to me next year. She goes, yes, ma'am. And I'm like, man, you buckle up, baby. I'm just granddaughter having surgery on her brain March 1st. Her name is Amelia. Oh, Father God, please. I send prayers to and healing. Specifically, I send your angels to stand around the doctors who's doing surgery on Amelia tomorrow. Lord Jesus, cover her in prayer, cover her in your angels. None of this matters, guys. Uh, the tax problems don't matter. What matters is that we're all okay and we get out of this alive. Amen. There's some wicked stuff going around. There's some wicked, wicked stuff. But I'm going to talk about the wicked, right? Because the wealth of the wicked is being transferred to the righteous as we speak. Amen. Cheer. Sip. I need a sip. Ah. Uh. 
thank you for waiting for us, Hindsight 64. I showered. I had to shower. I had to shower off the taxes. I fell into bed. <laughs> Just fell into bed. Husband came home. He's on vacation for 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 a while. I don't know. We're going to be working on our kitchen. So it goes from taxes to the kitchen. But the taxes aren't really going to pay for the kitchen. I thought they were. So, but they changed the tax laws last year. I told you they increased the in at in every income level. My husband was like, I don't, I can't believe they did that. I said, oh, yeah, they're destroying the middle class, honey. Wake up, wake up. They are. They are. So now I'm like, well, okay, God, take it all away. <laughs> take him down. They're now my enemy. Amen. <laughs> uh, God is good to his kids. And he's already got it. He's already got away, guys. He already knew I was going to have that conversation at 10 o'clock at night before I went to bed and find out that my carry forward loss is to limited 3000 per year. That is nothing. You know, so wait, they destroyed our businesses. They, they put us in the hole and then they limited the amount of losses we can take to future years of profitability. Isn't that nice? That's just really nice. Cheers. You, you guys, this administration sucks. They don't care about us at all. But thankfully, my Lord, God, Savior promises me. He's got my back. Jesus has my back. Cheryl, I haven't worn that sweatshirt yet. I'm sorry. If I get in a sweatshirt, I feel like a, I, I just, I have to stay out of sweatshirts right now. It makes me feel like I want to crawl in a hole. Honestly, just saying, <laughs> just saying. Uh, that's why I get up, shower, dress up, get some bling on. Again, thank you, Rhonda, for the earrings. They are gorgeous. Aren't they gorgeous? These are my brand new earrings, courtesy of Rhonda. She rocks. Marsha Boyd. Amazing, amazing box of little goodies you got me. Thank you. I'm looking forward to wearing those. Those are going to be great in the summer too because they're boho style. Thank you. Um. Well, I'm in 2 Samuel. I don't know why. So listen to this. We'll just read. Let's just read. Thank you, Jesus, for being here with us. Thank you for your presence that's always with us. Thank you, Lord. Please guide us and protect us. Please, Lord, uh, just comfort the hurting. Um, bring your prosperity now, Lord Jesus. I know that when you're with us, nothing can take us, Lord. Um, I'm armored up. Guys, I hope you're armored up. Put on the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness. Our loins are girded in his truth. And as he is, as Jesus was, he walks with the favor of God. As he is, so are we on this earth. Oh, I was going to talk about manifestation. I got to go over to Mark. I can't go in. If I go in 2 Samuel, we won't be talking about that. Here, I got to take this off. Oh. Well, look, well, let me read this. Second Samuel offers valuable insight to leaders. When we lead others in righteousness and in the fear of God, good things result. If you are a leader and ask God to help you increase more and more in righteousness and in the fear of the Lord, as you lead those God has put under your care. Amen. That was for me. See, he's proving he got my back. I shouldn't worry about it. Right. The last time he canceled debts. Uh, I never got the 1099C. I lived in fear. Every year, every January, I was like, oh, God, if that comes in, I don't know how I'm going to pay for that. Because it was a, he did that was a big discharge of debt. So I can't worry about this little one. Right. He told me he was he told me he was canceling my debts like, you know. And so all you you other people out there, I, I don't want to hear your criticism. Just stop right now. If you're about to do it, stop. Rethink it. Rethink it. Because I am just done with you trolls and the quidiot guy. I'm not going to even promote him. He doesn't exist in my world, in my universe. Anybody who would, who would, who would start a channel using clips of, of God inspired content to tear it down is got a spanking from God coming. I'm just saying. Um, so, and Jesus, this is Mark. These are Jesus's words after he had cursed the fig tree and the disciples were shocked that when they went by again, the fig tree was literally gone. So be careful of your words. You've got power. Yes, Cheryl, it's a good morning. Any day with coffee and friends is a good day. You guys are the reason why I get up in the morning. Trust me, this morning, I, my head was was like, I have options, but it's not going to matter because I have carry forward losses that I can only apply 3000 a year. I just, oh my gosh, it's just not good. Anyway, Mark 11, 22... <laughs> Hi, baby. Don't mess up my coffee. That's tough. 
We should talk puppy break. We need a puppy break after talking about evil, evil governmental entities changing the tax laws last year, increasing all our taxes for this year too. I thought it was good. I thought it was covered. It didn't bother me. Now, now we all have to, anyways, whatever. If, if I know it's illegal, I hope it goes away. I'm praying now that it goes away, but we'll see, right? Right now, I was led to do it. So in Jesus, you don't want to give them a reason to come after you, right? Amen. I already, they already have plenty of reasons. Trust me, they know who I am. Did you see my live yesterday? They literally split it up. That was not my internet, guys. I really sound in Now today during the storm, that'd be different, but it ain't happening today. It happened yesterday. So I got to be careful. Trolls be watching. Here's Roxy. Roxy's right here. She's my mommy. Don't worry. Don't worry. I won't worry unless you tip over my light. <laughs> so anyways, these are my favorite verses. These were Jesus's words, Mark 11, 22. And Jesus replying and said to them, have faith in God constantly. Truly, I tell you, whoever says to this mountain, be lifted up and thrown into the sea and does not doubt at all in his heart, but believes that what he says will take place, it will be done for him. I decree and declare right now that that three letter agency be damned and be done. Amen. Amen. For this reason, I am telling you whatever you ask for in prayer, believe, trust, and be confident that it is granted to you and you will get it. Amen. The wicked are... Yep. She is pulling out my life. Hold on. Hold on. Hold that thought. Thank you, sweetie. I know you had to scratch, but you pulled out mama's life. You don't you don't know what you did. There you go. She's man, she's heavy. Woo! Okay. See why I'm not here? Here we go. <laughs> she shouldn't have. I wanted to be here because I'm not gonna be out there. There's a wicked winter storm out there. I'm not gonna be out there. It's too blowy. The the I could I looked outside to say, oh, I'll go outside. It'll be a good day to be outside, air it all out, right? No, the 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 uh the rockers are the rockers are rocking. Okay, so what does this mean? What does this mean? Whatever you, truly I tell you, whoever says to this mountain, be lifted up and cast in. Do you have any mountains in your life? Mountains of debt, mountains of, uh, I don't know, health issues, any mountains in your life, you can decree and declare. And with a faith is a mustard seed. Now, my faith is a lot bigger than mustard seed. So I know, Kathy Burr, I know. <laughs> now I'm like, remember, I was only filing to get money back because I'm a master at that, right? I studied that. That's why I'm a financial ninja and I can help you too. If you have to file this year, you might want to do a call with me. We could strategize. Nobody plans like I do. Trust me. I'm a, I am here for you. All, everything God has taken me through is to help you with your finances. Amen. I love it too. I love it. I love it. It's my new mission. Help everybody get as much money as they can from the wicked agency. I'm just saying. I decree and declare there. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. Oh, not before I get what little bit I can get though. <laughs> Oh, let's see. Are we any, uh, you know, let, yeah, let's go talk about the RV because I, I want the wealth that makes this not matter. I want the wealth transfer. So this doesn't matter. It won't matter. It won't matter. Trust me. It ain't going to matter. I told, I told God, I said, well, you know, the RV is coming. So that won't matter. I told my husband, now I got to put away 50% for taxes. And in Maine, 55. That's what I'm doing for the RV. I'm putting away 55% because of this, because of things like this. You don't want to be shocked, guys. At least I know now. I know now what's heading for me next year if they're not gone. Amen. Yes. <laughs> uh, I, I just, you know, God has taken down a lot of my enemies, so I'm not really worried. But the woman was wonderful. I said, God bless you. I said, I'll give you a good review. So I'm going to go and look. I need another window. Hold on. I'm going to do it with a different browser. Hold on. I'm going to use my other browser. Here we go. Guys, I'm going to get the intel now because... God is with us. God, thank you, Lord, that you have me. Thank you, Lord, that you know I'm tired and I'm weary from that battle. And I wasn't sure what to do. Lord, you'll lead me and guide me as whether I should just file it as it is. It might be easier if I just file it as it is. Um, this is Mark. These are finally the notes from Mark's call yesterday. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to read the members' comments because that's not going to help me. Um, we don't know what's going on, guys. Nothing's in concrete. But Mark Z says, 
Um, great militiaman news over the weekend. He talks about a number of major international deals they are doing in Iraq. Yes, and they are telling us in their day-to-day -day markets what they're doing to get this RV out the door. They have told us they are expecting a value change. Please go watch militiaman videos. I am so happy that he's really promoting militiaman. I really am. That's that's really great. Um, Mark Z, that would make logical sense. But as I understand it, the gold treaty needs to come out at a higher rate. But if Iraq is frustrated on waiting, it makes sense for Iraq to come out at a lower rate and float. Mark, see if it floats, I believe it will float up. Their goal was to reach the four dollar mark. Guys, you got to understand, I present a different, uh, I present a different take on this. I just do. Uh, Mark, see, I'm hearing that if the dinar floats, we will still get banking exchange instructions to go to banks with the proper equipment and training to process us. Amen. Telling you, God has been saying this to me all along. Go to the bank, right? With the proper equipment and training to process us, just not full blown, just not full-blown redemption centers. I'm okay either way. I agree, Mark. I just want this roller coaster to end. I'm ready to get off of it. Me too. Mark Z, but it would be nice to get the new big rate all at once. Guys, don't expect to get bigger than 4X. That is going to be the official rate. Don't expect to get a lot bigger than that because that doesn't even make sense. It doesn't make business sense. It doesn't make any sense for anybody. It's just not business minded. Like, so I, cause I, I'm just, yeah, just saying it doesn't make sense. If it comes out on Forex at $3 or $1 and starts to float up, the market's going to take over it. It doesn't, that doesn't guarantee you get a bigger rate because you go somewhere. Nobody can give you a bigger rate. They'd be stupid if they did because they, they, they would be giving you money and take a loss. That doesn't make business sense. Again, different perspective from a business person here. Yeah, I know, Beverly. God bless you. Continued comfort for you. Yeah, because we've all been through a lot, guys. I mean, myself included. The chosen ones always go through a lot. I mean, losing family members is really traumatic. So I pray for everybody. I pray for God's comforter. You know, the Holy Spirit is the comforter, no matter what you go through. So he's always the person. The, the Holy Spirit is a person, the person of the Holy Spirit. You know that he's trying to be like Jesus was. Like what showed up in my Jeep, right? And he said, I am that I am. He's representative of God. So he said, I am just like God said to Abraham. I took you through those verses on Saturday. Right. And so it's like the the joy of the Lord is our strength. <laughs> like he always gives me joy no matter what I'm going through. He makes me laugh. And I, I found a picture of Jesus laughing and I wanted to post it. I didn't post it yet. I'll post it later in the community page. It was glorious. And I'm like, yes, Jesus, that is the. When you can laugh, guys, laughter is good for the soul. You need to be laughing your way through this when these idiots appear to be doing their last ditch efforts to take over us. They're not going to win. God has won already. God has got us. He is laughing at, at his enemies that think they can take him. They can do anything to his kids. He can't. They can't do anything to us. Right, look at Israel. Israel's lasted all this time. You think he, God's just going to walk away from his chosen ones? No, he's not. When is this RV Mo? I was reading the intel. Sorry, I got distracted. I'm only 18 minutes in. I'm early, but I'm distracted. I admit I'm distracted. Amen. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Thank you, Francine. I'm happy too. I'm really happy. You know, I got my puppies by my side. Hold on. Puppy break and then the intel, okay? Everybody needs to see a puppy. My babies are right there. That's where they are. Count your blessings. Count every blessing every day. Guys, we all have, we all have, we all have stones that need to be rolled away. <laughs> One of mine was rolled away and immediately I thought about the tax consequences. It's terrible. The enemy's trying to steal my joy every way he can. I would have been glorious last night if I had not realized my carry forward losses were limited. But the good Lord asked, told me 10 o'clock at night, he said, go online and ask her. And she got on and I shared my screen and she helped me, but I was not happy. Like, what did God look like when he appeared? I didn't see him, Paul. It was his presence. You know, I'd said every knee will bow and recognize Jesus when he comes. When he appeared in my Jeep, I knew it was him. I didn't have to ask. It was, it was the presence of the risen Christ. And I heard audibly outside of me, because he was on my right, I am. But I also have a history of my mother telling me how Jesus showed up and, and it, like she felt a warm hand on her back and they healed her. She had a, a suspicious lump that had been biopsied and they were doing another procedure and he healed her. And then he healed her through a TV show called the 700 club. Anybody remember that? He healed the bleeding in the back of her eyes. She had gone blind in one eye and he healed her and she could see like my husband got healed at, at a mass. 
that was at the parish with the with the charismatic priest. He would do healing services and he got healed. His knee got healed miraculously. Guys, God is still healing. God has not left the building. God is not dead. He's fully alive. So if you need healing, go to him or or put your comment down. I'll pray for you because I mean, my prayers get answered. Not for me. I have to I have to represent products and help people. He doesn't. He brings me product. I'm like, could you could you once give me a miraculous healing? He brings me products, brings me businesses. It's like he wants me in the business world. What new word have I have you heard? Oh, I'm back to. I'm oh, sorry. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I I could talk about God all day long, guys. I'm really I'm really God's girl. I swear to God. Uh, bond folks are getting a lot of talk about the release of the funds before the end of business today. Yes, praise you, Jesus. Many of my contacts thought they would wake up to a new rate today at the earliest, most likely by tomorrow. He's watching it. Overwhelmingly, they believe this time is is it. I am sure other intel providers are hearing the same things, that they have scheduled it and are waiting on the release. None of us know the exact thing, but we do know everyone is ready for it. Amen, amen. I myself, Nader posted a video about the craziness in Europe this weekend. Lots of riots and crime. Is the world falling apart? It appears so. Uh, Mark, see, I'm not sure if this movie is a tragedy or comedy. Heck, it appears to be both with a lot of plot twists. Yep, it does. Um, yeah, so that was yet, but he, uh, they might have last night's call because I think he was on last night. Um, he did talk about Oki. I saw a post on Telegram because I watch for this, guys. I'm always watching for this, even if it's the last thing I do before I go to bed. Um, Dinarland highlights by Sandy Ingram, Mark Z, Frank Sicken. Thank you, Jesus, that this is, this is the notes Dated today. Sandy Ingram, the exchange rate between the U.S. and the IQD is still at 1450 on the international currency feed. We don't know why it has not calculated to 1300 per the CBI's rate change. She'll keep us posted. Um, I already said that. It was Mark's comments. Um, Frank 26. Somebody sent me his video and said, listen to the last 10 minutes. I honestly, I did not have time. I had to go to sleep. But it says Frank 26. Um, you don't care about the exchange rate as it reaches one to one, do you? I agree with Frank. Of course not. You're not. You're not going to exchange. You could. You could still make a nice little profit out of it, but you're waiting for the one to one. You know the rate at which it will float. I like Frank about that. I can almost hear him saying this. How do you think the value of the Iraqi dinar is going to go up on its own? Forex is the float. I agree, Frank. I totally agree. This is K&G from KTFA. They're quoting an article. The Kurdistan regional government announces reaching an initial agreement with Baghdad on the draft budget law. The Iraqi government revealed two weeks ago that the Ministry of Finance had begun to prepare the general budget for the year 2023. According to the new exchange rate, 130,000 dinars per $100. That's a 1300 guys. Um, yes, I'm deemed negative, but in actuality, it is not negativity, but looking at all articles, not just the ones that are favorable. It's a good point. Just like me, I'm not deemed negative just because I'm warning you for potential blind sides that could happen to steal your wealth from you. You think it wouldn't happen in this day and age? There's people stealing everywhere. Just deep woods, KTFA response to guest guru K and G post. For me, the mystery is due to what we've learned that they cannot reveal a major change in their rate due to legalities. There are finer details and inner workings we are not privy to. Of course, kind of like what we're waiting for, right? I, for one, am not worried. There are hundreds of articles in just the last couple of weeks alone concerning the exchange rate contracts, other countries, online platforms, sonar devices, et cetera. None of this makes sense at 1300, 1190, or even one-to-one. -one. All this sounds like the most valuable currencies in the world. It is, given their GDP, given their their gold reserves, given their, their, their tremendous reserves, and the number five oil producer in the world. Yes. And they're, they're dealing with bricks now. So what you need to understand is the U S is going to fall when this happens and, and who knows what they're going to do. I don't know. I don't know legally what I, I don't know. I don't know. This is beyond me. I'm just trying to, I'm here to bring in the wealth transfer with you. Amen. My prayer, my prayers, my fasting, I've fasted and prayed so much guys. I don't need, I, I Yep, they just replayed what I already said. Yep, I've already said that. Okay, there was a video here from one of the guys. Um, this That was a clickbait video. I watched it. IQD, IUSD, fixed rate today. It was clickbait. It hadn't, he was just talking about how it's going to go. You notice all the channels that have popped up 
from Dinar people in the Mideast. A lot of channels have popped up lately, I've noticed. And I'm like, yes, go. I'm praying for them. I'm praying for all of us, right? Because we all need this. Amen. The, the heart rating thing scares me. When they said that, I'm like, that sounds like evil. I'm sorry. I mean, okay, you want to be against God? Okay, God says, only I can know a man's heart. Right, AI. I know. It's AI. Why would you trust it? Even Elon Musk, who had, who's made the links in the head, said that you cannot trust AI. AI could be the end of humanity. I mean, I'm just saying. I mean, what do you guys think about AI? I'm, I mean, I'm giving you my opinion. What do you think? You know, guys, you got to remember when they're when they dress something up, it's because that's the way they want you to go. Haven't you learned by now we should question everything? In fact, I was on a channel. It was a spiritual channel. I love this woman. She's she has a connection with Yeshua like I do, but she maybe I don't know her connection. I don't know. She also believes in Galactic Federation stuff. I can't go there. I can't go there. My mind does not compute that. It, it may call me it, because I'm an auditor until I see it. I won't believe it. And even when I do see it, I will think that was this, really the sign that we are totally in the end times. <laughs> that will be like, that will be okay. Now we're really in the end times, <laughs> you know? So at least we have each other. Oh, thank you. RM scheme, Richard 999. God bless you. Lord, right now I just decree and declare, please give him a hundredfold. Amen. We all need extra money right now. Amen. Give him a hundredfold. So let me tell you what happened. I fit in two ninja appointments yesterday in the midst of doing my taxes. I had to, I needed a break. It was five 30. Hubby was still at work. I, I didn't feel like making dinner. I'm like, you know what? Somebody wanted a ninja. He was on my chat on Sunday. He wanted to do it Monday. I don't know what day it is. Is it Tuesday? Yeah, it's Tuesday. So I'm like, I'm going to contact him. I, I texted him. I said, can you do it now? He goes, yes, I needed to help somebody, guys. Taxes are all about me. I hate that. I hate that. I would rather be helping you, but it's something we all got to do. We all got to face our own battles, right? So he sent me a text. Listen to this. I was, I was shocked. Look, he said, guess what happened to me last night? An hour after we talked, we did an appointment for half an hour. He said, my brother, who I haven't heard, and, and this was after that, I went back to my taxes and talked to a woman and wasn't, who wasn't in bed until after 10. So he sent this at 4.36 a.m. He works really hard. If he could only do it in the evening. And I only do the evening appointments when my husband's at work. So it was the best time to do it was last night. So, um, so well, guys, I will always try to fit you in. Evening appointments are going to be hard because my husband's off for the next three weeks. But who are going to be working on the kitchen. So I'll be needing ninja appointments just like I needed during the taxes. I need breaks, right? So when I need a break, I'll be doing ninja appointments. So don't stop asking me for ninjas just because I'm going to be busy. I like the breaks. I like talking to you guys. So guess what happened to me last night? An hour after we talked, my brother, who I haven't heard from in years, cash apped him $300. I prayed with him for the hundredfold. Amen. So he cash apped him $300. He had nerve. He goes, just because. And we talked for over an hour about how our lives have gone. I haven't seen him since he was nine and he's 57 now. Amazing, Mel. Do you see the miracles God is doing? God is doing miracles, guys. You have to receive it. You have to believe it. That's why I, that's, thank you, Jesus. He reminded me why I titled this. I don't, what, I don't even remember what I titled this. I was tired this morning. I'm admitting I, I'm not like on my game, but you have to believe that you're going to get a hundredfold when you donate here or when you do an angel appointment. I mean, even if it's just a 15 minute one, right? $37 times a hundred, right? You have to believe in the hundredfold or you won't get it. You, it'll be done for you as you have believed. You have to trust that God is open heaven, pouring out his blessings. He sees everything that's happened to us. He sees how stressful this season has been for our for us conservative folks, the people who really believe in God, the people who listen to the prophets, right? He sees everything and he loves us more than anybody else. You think he loves the wicked? No, he doesn't. They are like, he's like pouring hot coals on their heads. They are being tormented right now by, by God's angels. They are not getting off. They are not getting away free. 
God is going to be tormenting them. They are not getting any sleep. I guarantee you. That's why they all look older, you know. Had heard on Mark Z that bankers were to be paid $1.66 in dinars. It's been a harsh three years. I know hindsight, but guys, weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. It's morning. Amen. Yes, Arlene. God is omnipresent, omniscient, 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 and omnipotent. God is everything to me. I've seen him do wonders and miraculous things. Like I was in fear of getting a 1099C after he canceled that debt. The same thing happened. Like I get a blessing and the fear comes, right? I felt it last night. And fear is not of God. Fear is of the enemy. I can't worry about what's going to happen next January 31st, right? This is a daytime compartment lifetime. You have to live day by day. I don't even know yet if I'm going to file it as it is or if I'm going to take another look. I don't think it matters now that I'm thinking about it. Now that I'm talking about it, I don't think it matters. Um, Frank, I am trying my best to hang in there. Lord God, please bless everybody suffering. Everybody's suffering in different ways. Lord Jesus, bless bless my husband who's mourning the loss of two close family members. Uh, thank you, Lord. Bless my sister who's struggling with depression. Bless my brother who's still recovering in Greece, who's still recovering from cancer. Bless my other brother who's still recovering from cancer. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that... Um, I'm going to buy his Rila products because he called me on Sunday night and we talked for 53 minutes. Five plus three is eight. That is new beginnings in God's kingdom. This is a new beginning. This is the 28th, right? Tomorrow is a brand new month. Are you ready for a fresh start? I certainly am. Are you ready for a new day? I certainly am. By hook or by whatever happens, by the end of this day, my taxes will be done. So I'm excited. However God leads me, I will rejoice and be glad for the refund we are getting. Amen. <sighs> Thomas D. Williams, bless all of you. I'm thankful I'm doing well and I'm blessed. I'm just asking everybody to pray for everybody here in the family. Let's just all pray for each other daily. Like, and you don't have to think of individual names. Just say, Lord, bless our YouTube family, right? And bless us all and let us all prosper and come back and share the miracle provisions. I was encouraged by hearing his text. So thank you, Daryl, for sending me a text. He's probably at work right now because he could only do it after. I, he, I think he was the one who said, can you do, Can you, is 7 p.m. too late? I said, what time are we thinking? What time zone? <laughs> because 10 is definitely too late. But I could do it if I had to, guys. You guys, you guys got to understand, God put me on YouTube because you are his priority. You found my channel because you are favored of God. You would not have found my channel and been on this chat if if you were not favored by God. Amen. So put all the evil voices. Thank you, Percy. God bless you hundredfold. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for all the financial miracles that are coming. Amen. The financial miracles, let them keep coming, Lord. Forgive me, Lord, for getting off track last night when I was tired. Let the financial miracles come. And I, 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 uh, as I was talking to her, Lord, I, I, I call back all the seeds I sued and sowed that were negative. Amen. I call those seeds back. I need to cancel the harvest of my seeds last night, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for always cleaning up my messes. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for always blessing your kids. Thank you, Lord, for the favor that comes every single day is a new day to be blessed. Every single day is a fresh start. Lord Jesus, forgive everybody for their sins. I stand in the gap, Lord. Just forgive everybody for their sins and myself too, for thought, word, and deed, and for, for not sleeping last night because I was concerned, Lord. We cast all our cares upon you because you care for us in Jesus' precious, precious name. Amen. <sighs> Guys, I feel everybody's pain. I'm very empathic. <laughs> it's, it's hard, but you know, God is always good right? To his kids. So decree and declare favor over your life. Even if you don't believe it, decree and declare it. God sees everything that you do, even if it's a step better than what you have done, because so many people are speaking in alignment with what the evil's plans are. And I, it just, it, it makes, it makes me go, oh my God, why are you saying that? Why do you keep speaking about it? I mean, even the truthers are personifying evil right now. I'm like decreeing and declaring that the worst is coming. I, I'm like, no, not for me. The best is yet to come. I know my words have powers. You might, you got us here. Like you kept us, you kept us in the loop or whatever. You got us as far, but that doesn't mean I am in agreement with what you're speaking. You are speaking death to everything. And I don't believe in that. I speak life. Although I am a little mad about the, um, 
you know, the agency. <laughs> That's all I could say. Frank, when you take your sorrow to God, it's never bad that you feel that way. God, God, okay, this is the deal. What you need to understand is when I was depressed, I was depressed for years. I was because my business was being destroyed. I didn't understand. I didn't, I didn't understand why God would let that happen to me after it took me 10 years to build it. And I would only did it in obedience to him. But in the midst of that, every day I saw blessings. What I'm asking you to do, if you hurt every day, I want you to give that pain to God every day. And then I want you to say, God, show me the comforter, show me the blessings, right? Let Open my eyes to see the blessings because all I've seen is darkness. Open my eyes so I can see clearly your goodness in the land of the living. Amen? Because he's always good in the land of the living. But guys, I get it. You're beat up. You're you're feeling like there's no way out. You feel like your back's against the wall. I'm with you. But with God, I mean... The first time I ever had an experience with somebody with a prophetic gift, I didn't know about the prophetic gift. I even though I have one. I didn't know I had one. I didn't know what it was. Why? Because I was in a church that didn't teach it, right? But somebody walked up to me in an airport and said, you know, it's interesting. She introduced herself to me. She was on a reward trip. God had given me that trip. God gave, always gave me trips. Why? Because he knew I needed to warm up. I won those reward trips because it was God's favor on me for living here, moving here, like being cold for nine months out of every year. Um, so he would always reward me with those trips. And so the last reward, the very last reward trip I got, the very last one, a girl, a woman walked up to me and she goes, I have a prophetic gift. And that was the first time I'd heard of the prophetic gift. First time, literally. And, and she, and it was in 2011. And she said, and she goes, usually I prophesy to somebody, but I, I've got nothing this trip. It's kind of weird. And then she goes, oh, until now. And she walked right over to me. And she said, God is canceling. She goes, no, she, first she said, you're a frog in the body of Christ, which means you've leapt over every obstacle by faith and he is rewarding you. And she goes, but now you're looking at this massive wall and you don't see any way to scale it. Guys, if you have a massive wall in your life, God sees that. And she goes, she prophesied to me right then and there. She goes, God is canceling all your debts. It made me, I knew it was God because my emotional response was tears. If you're tearing up right now, then that word is for you too. Because every word that is good that is spoken over you can be yours if you believe it. God is canceling all your debts. Amen. Watch him work. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for that. Thank you, Jesus, for reminding me of that story so I can prophesy to everybody, your debts are canceled. Amen. By God, your debts are canceled. And he will do what he did for me and, and cause the, the, uh, the institution, which was what I consider to be Bank of Satan. It was Bank of America. And they lost my 1099. I never got a 1099C. Never had to pay taxes on that income that was canceled. Amen. Amen. That is the goodness of God. Now, some would say that's Nassar and Jassar. Well, that would be giving man the credit now, wouldn't it? I got to admit, once I heard about Nassar and Jassar, I started to think that too. But that was under the one I prayed for that would be our president. And he was at that time. And I do believe he had set everything in place for all this to happen. But I, I don't know what the status is now. I do believe our military, there got to be some good military there. I have no idea if it's good or bad. But all I know is that many more people are going to die. I'm just saying. God has already revealed that to me. But he's telling me his kids will be safe if you trust him. You got to trust him. You got to pray. Father God, I pray you'd increase everybody's faith that's watching this broadcast either now or later in Jesus's name. Amen. Guys, I only glorify God here. I got to go. I love you. God bless. And please continue to pray for me that I have the wisdom of God and I know whether or not to file right now or not. Amen. God bless. Yes, I know. We need to lift our heads because the glory of the Lord always, always intervenes in your circumstances. Amen. God bless. I'm praying for you. Please pray for me too. Pray for everybody here. Pray for the whole YouTube family here. Amen. And that it grows, that we increase our family. We increase our numbers. Not because it's it's an ego thing. It is not. This is a this is service unto the kingdom alone. But but people need to be encouraged because, you know, I I, I I'm a unique, 
I don't know. I don't know what he's doing, but I know he's doing something because he gets me on here every day. Amen. God bless. Bye.